Alright everybody, been a while since I've made one of these videos, but I'm catching up, I'm playing catch up. As you know, I've been in the moving process and just also in social life. It gets tough, <laughs> making fun time for all this. But I did watch the next two episodes of iCarly and I had already like, kind of, the way it was just falling, I was making them like every other week, just like for the next two. So when I, I went ahead and watched these two, I'm like, I'll just go ahead and make a video. And then I'll probably watch the other ones pretty soon, I would imagine. The next one, which I guess would be episode five, <laughs> is called I Faked It. And it's about how Carly gets deep faked on the internet, selling products. And she's like, I didn't do this. And Freddie's like, yeah, you're, you're the victim of a deep fake. Someone's deep faking you. And, like, my mind, like, didn't necessarily go, like, straight to Neville. But as soon as they brought up who would do it, like, as soon as Carly's like, well, who would do this? It's like, you know dang well who would do this. And then the next time they show the deep fake Carly, she's doing, like, a little accent and she's just acting very preppy and all this, I'm just like, oh, it's for sure Neville. Like, it's auto, like 100%. Seeing Neville is always fun. They're just trying to deep fake Carly into selling, I think it was a product that they themselves made, him and his wife. So that was kind of funny. The other side of that episode was Harper was having to meet Tinsley's best friend and Harper and Tinsley's best friend who only has one name, like Beyonce, whose name I can't remember. Uh, they do not get along. And he even like threatens Harper, like, I'm gonna ruin those relationship and all this, this, this. Which it's fine. I feel like that's just like a side, like a B side that's been done so much. Like, and it didn't add anything that you hadn't seen on that like thing before. So like, I was like kind of bored in all their scenes, except for the actress who plays Tinsley, she was also in She-Hulk. I think her name is like, it starts with a P. I want to say it's Patricia something, but I don't know for sure. She is great in her role. She's funny. She does this also like this snotty preppy accent and she's also like kind of ditzy. So like, she was great. And I feel like the jokes, there's some of the jokes in that one that were just like, I feel like I'm watching the kids version of my Carly again. We're on to episode six, which is called I Reunited and It Felt Okay or something like that. It's about their 10 year high school graduation, which is already wild to think about. <laughs> when they said that, I was like, nah, -uh. yeah. Huh? James Maslow, is that his name? Maslow, Marslow, Maslow from Big Time Rush comes back. I mean, if you're, if you're a Carly fan, you remember that he was one of their first crushes. I think that's the episode where they're trying to get their first kiss and they want it to be him. Or like Carly and Sam are fighting over him. Whoever kisses him first gets to date him, that kind of thing. Well, he's back at the reunion and he is a gym teacher. And it turns out Carly didn't actually graduate because she failed PE or gym, whatever. So she spends a whole night trying to convince him to pass her so she can be in the big group photo at the end of the night. And honestly, none of it really works for me. Like, it's a fine episode, but like, there's nothing done that was really funny. It was cool to see James come back. The funnier side of the story is the B, the B, the B side, where you have Spencer, who in his, I remember he was in his downtime and when he was bored, he got bored there for a while in life. And what he would do is go to a sperm bank and donate. And he's just recently decided to connect with all of these children <laughs> that are biologically his. And he's got like 11 of them. And he has just stupid names for everything. And he actually gets to connect with one of the kids. So Spencer's side was a lot funnier. But in, and then just a little sting at the end is that he asked the mom to the kid out 
And she said yes. So they might potentially just be getting Spencer a little fan. Because he introduced Carly to the girl. Whose name is Potter, I think. At the end of the episode, it's like, Carly, this is your this is your niece. They might be keeping her around. That's what I got from that. I was like, oh, they're actually gonna give Spencer like a little bit of a family. Give them a new little family member. Yeah. And Harper was there with Spencer. She didn't really do anything in this episode. And then Millicent was helping volunteer at the uh, the classroom union. So, working off some detention. Just showing rebellious teenage stuff. Nonsense that shouldn't be in TV. Having her talk back to Freddie like that. And then making discipline look bad. Like, she was all like... <laughs> I don't even like talking about this stuff because I don't like... But it's like, it's a thing. Um... She's like, oh yeah, what are you gonna do? Ground me, send me to my room with all my cool stuff. And he's like, wow, I need to find a better way of punishment. Uh, when I was little, if I acted out of line, I got whooped. You know? And if I was grounded, I was grounded from the stuff also that's in my room. You know? It's like, I don't know. I feel like the media portrays parents as just a bad like all the time and stuff like that like oh your discipline can't work on me no it's like stop doing this what are you teaching the kids huh anyways now that i'm ranting about that i plan on watching the other ones pretty soon so i hope we'll get another review up but yeah that's my review on those two episodes let me know what y'all thought in the comment section below and i'll see you next time